Hey everyone, welcome to Sam and Fang Cooking. In this video, I'll show you how to make these Rainbow Pride mini lunchbox cakes. I'll be making a funfetti cake layer, pastry cream, and a vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream. To get started on the cake, add 84 grams of softened unsalted butter and 300 grams of granulated sugar to a stand mixer. Using a paddle attachment, cream together the butter and sugar until combined. Then add 2 teaspoons of vanilla and 74 grams of canola oil and mix for 5 minutes. The mixture will double in size and be lighter in color. Sift together 282 grams of cake flour, 1 tablespoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Add the dry mix to the wet, alternating with 180 grams of milk until everything is combined. Make sure to scrape down the sides as you go. Add the cake batter to the bowl we just had the flour in and clean the mixing bowl very well. Separate four eggs. We only need the whites for the cake, but keep the yolks for later. Add the egg whites to the mixer and using the whisk attachment, mix on high speed until you get medium peaks. Fold egg whites a little at a time into the cake batter until it's all combined. Then fold in 60 grams of rainbow sprinkles. Add parchment paper or baking mat to a half sheet tray and spray with cooking oil. Add the cake batter and smooth the top. I also like to tap the tray a few times to release any air bubbles. Bake the cake for 20 to 25 minutes or until lightly browned and a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Set the cake aside to cool. To make the pastry cream, add 323 grams of milk, 65 grams of sugar, 2 teaspoons of vanilla, and 1 8 teaspoon of salt to a small saucepan. Give it a stir and cook on medium heat until the mixture is simmering. Add 2 tablespoons of cornstarch and the 4 egg yolks to a bowl and whisk until combined. When the milk is hot, temper the yolks by adding the milk a little at a time into the yolks and stir. Do this until the yolk mixture is warm. Add the mixture back into the saucepan and cook on medium heat while constantly whisking until it has thickened. Once the pastry cream is thick and boiling, cook for another minute. Turn off the heat and add 10 grams of butter. Whisk until the butter is melted. Strain the pastry cream into a clean bowl to ensure there are no lumps. Then add plastic wrap directly on top of the pastry cream and cool to room temperature, then store in the fridge. Now we make the vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream. Create a double boiler with the mixing bowl and add 300 grams of sugar and 182 grams of egg whites to the mixing bowl and constantly stir the whites and sugar until the sugar has completely dissolved. You can check by rubbing two fingers together to feel if the sugar has dissolved. Then using the whisk attachment, whisk the egg whites and sugar until you get stiff peaks and the bowl is no longer hot to the touch. Next, mix on low speed and add 454 grams of butter, one to two tablespoons at a time. Once all the butter is used up, keep mixing until everything comes together. It may look split and look like it won't come together, but it will. Keep mixing. Mix on medium to high speed for another five minutes. This gets the buttercream fluffier. Then add two teaspoons of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of salt or whatever flavorings you like. I taste it to see if it needs more vanilla or salt. Because I'm making cakes to celebrate pride, I'm dyeing the buttercream rainbow colors. 
We need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Take the pastry cream out of the fridge and whisk to loosen it up. Add some white buttercream to a piping bag fitted with a small round tip. My cake was in the fridge overnight so it's nice and cold. Here I'm using a 4 inch cookie cutter. This will fit perfectly into my 6 inch takeout containers. Use an offset spatula to help take out the cake rounds. And always save the scraps for other things like cake pops. To assemble, add a small piece of parchment paper to a cake turntable and pipe a little dollop of buttercream on top of the parchment paper. Then place one cake round on top and pipe a border of buttercream around the edge of the cake. Fill with pastry cream up to the edge. Add another cake round on top and repeat for a third layer, or leave it at two layers for a shorter cake. Chill the cake in the fridge before adding the crumb coat. Take the chilled cake out of the fridge and add buttercream all around and smooth with an offset spatula or bench scraper to finish. Chill the cake again before adding the decorations. Decorate the top of the cake in the rainbow colors however you like. I went with rainbow stripes and happy pride and love is love over a rainbow heart. For that, I made a heart stencil out of parchment paper. Make sure the cake is cold before removing the stencil. This recipe will make six two-layer mini cakes or four three-layer mini cakes. If you don't make them all at once, you can freeze the leftover cake layers and buttercream. Get creative as you can decorate your cake however you want. Try different cake fillings like jams and curds. These make great gifts for friends, or make one for yourself, because why not? You deserve it! Let us know in the comments below if you give these mini cakes a try. Thanks for watching! Bye! Like and subscribe, please!